how soon before it's truly seamless and you're partnered with the appliance makers and or maybe not necessarily the cars, but other places that we have products that we interact with and, and, and those can inform us when we're out and then, I don't know, somehow seamlessly it takes us to Walmart and we just happen to know what the deals are. Well, um, it's always difficult to make these kind of pre predictions and uh, um, I, I just know that they are the mobile space for me. And I think what we're seeing in general is the smartphone is becoming the glue between those experiences. So when you talk about, you know, an in-car experience, you're seeing more and more of that in-car experience actually being powered by the smartphone because you don't have to be embedded into the nav system, which has a 10-year life cycle and those types of things. So um, I think we'll often see well, our, our focus is really on using the smartphone to glue together the experience of the physical store, uh, the online capabilities, bring the, we talk about bringing online to the store, just like how you bring the store online, which is really what e-commerce did. Uh, and so I, I don't think we're, I think in some ways we're there today. I think uh, there will always be places and spots where it's not as seamless, but um, we just kind of keep knocking those down one at a time. Um, and I think in the next two years, you're going to see a tremendous amount of growth and progress in that area, trying to mesh together those various experiences. And as, as customers get more and more used to it, it just gets ingrained into their Absolutely. daily habits.